In this recording, we shall look at ch how to change the base of logarithms. And that raises the first question, what is a logarithm and what is its base? And a common notation for logarithms is shown here. y equals log subscript a x is how we would write the logarithm of x to the base a. And that tells us y is in fact equal to log base a of x if and only if x equals a to the power of y. That is, y is the power that we must raise the base a to in order to get x. So for an example, to illustrate this, 2, for instance, would be log base 10 of 100 because in order to get 100 we would need to raise 10 to the power of 2. And in fact scientific calculators generally can compute logs base 10 such as the one we looked at here so we would be able to work that out on a calculator using the log button as log of 100. And most scientific calculators will also calculate logs base e, which is the natural log or ln function. But what if we want to compute logarithms in other bases, such as base 3 or base 9.6 for instance? And first, to see how this works, let's look at the general principle and then we'll apply this to an example. So suppose we were able to calculate log base a of x, so that might be log base 10 or log base e for instance, but that we wanted to find a logarithm in another base, base b. How would we use our information about log base a of x to get the log of x to the base b? Well let's think about what we know and let's call what we want to find, which is log of x to the base b, B, let's call that y. And what do we actually know? Well we saw that if y is equal to log x to the base b then it must follow that raising the base b to the power of y in fact gives us x. Now we want to go into base a though. So let's take logs to the base a of both sides of this expression. What would that give us? Well that would give us log base a of b to the y is equal to log base a of x. That doesn't look that much simpler just yet, but there is a very useful property of logarithms which says that log, regardless of the base, log of a to the n is the same as n log a. So that means log base a of b to the y is the same as y multiplied by log base a of b. And that the right hand side for now still stays the same. So y times log base a of b equals log base a of x. And y is what we're actually wanting to find. And now to find y, we can simply cancel log base a of b from the left hand side by dividing both sides by log base a of b, which tells us that y is actually log base a of x divided by log base a of b. And remember, we called this y for convenience, but basically what y was, which is what we were looking for, was log base b of x. So in other words, we've found that if we want to write x as base b logarithm, we now know that it's log base a of x divided by log base a of b. So that this would be especially helpful, for instance, if we wanted to find the logarithm of a number to a base either than 10 or e, then a here could be either base 10 or base e, which could then just be worked out on our calculator. So let's look at an example of using this to get a bit more familiar with the idea. Let's suppose we want to find log of 12 to the base 4. 
and so for convenience let's once again start off by calling that y and we know how to calculate logs base 10 so in this example I'm going to demonstrate how we do this in terms of logs base 10 but for an exercise you might want to try doing the same thing in base e later on so what does this tell us well y equals log 12 to the base 4 tells us 4 to the y is equal to 12 and because base 10 is familiar to us we can now take logs to the base 10 of both sides of that to get log base 10 of 4 to the y is log base 10 of 12 and often when it's logs base 10 people leave off the 10 subscript and just write log now by our property of logarithms this is the same on the left hand side as y times log base 10 of 4 and the right hand side is the same now once again it's a straightforward matter of simply dividing both sides by log base 10 of 4 to cancel it from the left and make y the subject so we find that y is log base 10 of 12 divided by log base 10 of 4 and log 12 to the base 10 on the calculator to four decimal places is 1.0792 log base 10 of 4 to four decimal places is 0.6021 but even though I'm writing it down like that best to keep it as accurate as possible till the final answer so to four decimal places y is equal to 1.7925 that is in terms of what we were wanting to find log of 12 to the base 4 is equal to 1.7925 meaning that to get 12 you must raise 4 to the power of 1.7925 so just summarizing that a bit more we've seen that log base 4 of 12 is log of the new base which was base 10 of 12 divided by log of our new base of the number 4 so again that is in the form we saw before that log base b of x equals log to the base a of x divided by log to the base a of b